Hey everyone, welcome to this week's video. So this video is going to be basically me showing you books that I just bought, a book haul. I haven't really talked about like books a lot on my channel. I feel like I did one book recommendation video like last year sometime I think. Um, but yeah, I love reading a lot and this summer um, a lot of new books have come out slash are coming out that I've been very excited to read. Um, yeah, and obviously with summer break I have a lot more time to read now so that makes me so happy. I spent like all morning before I started filming this reading one of the books I'm going to show you. Um, so yeah, let's just get started. So yeah, these are all purchased within the last literally two days. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, so I also still have like five on my shelf that I have already had and haven't read. But these were very urgent. I needed them. Half of them from Barnes & Noble and ordered the other half online from a bookstore in the UK. Um, which you'll see why when I show you. Um, so I'll start with the ones I got from Barnes & Noble, I guess. Like I said, I just bought them, so obviously I haven't read them, so it's not like a book review. But if you guys want like a book review thing, like adjacent to this video from when I'm done with all these books, let me know. Um, we'll start with the main one that I went there for, which is Book Lovers by Emily Henry. Um, I love this author so much. I've read her other two books, Beach Read and People We Meet on Vacation. And as you can see, I'm already way over halfway. I'm at like a really good part right now, but I had to stop because um, I had to film this video. <laughs> um, yeah, literally this is what I've read in like a day and a half since I've gotten it. Um, yeah, I love it so much so far. It's about these two people who work in book publishing, I believe is how they word it. And they end up meeting up in a small town and it's this whole thing. It's like, it's really, it's really cute so far. And I'm just very excited to see how it ends because like I said, I'm at a really good turning point right now, I feel like. So yeah, love that one. If you ever read any of her books, you should definitely go read uh, both Beach Read and People We Meet on Vacation. Like I love both of them. People always like rank them, but honestly, I love both of them like equally, I'd say. <laughs> so yeah. The next book I picked up is I Kissed is it Shara? Shara? I used to say Sarah for some reason, but there's literally an H there. Is it Shara? Shara? Wheeler? I'm gonna avoid saying it. Um, by Casey McQuiston, and I love their books so much. Their books, Red, White, and Royal Blue, and One Last Stop. I read One Last Stop last summer, and then Red, White, and... I cannot say that title to save my life, but like fall of 2020. Very excited to read it. It sounds really good. It's like set in a high school, I believe, a Christian high school. So that'll be interesting to read. But yeah, like I said, let me know if you guys want like a review on these books. Cause these two were what I was most excited for to read this month. Anyways, moving on. The next book that I picked up is Verity by Colleen Hoover. Um, I've read one of her other books, Ugly Love, like a few months ago, and I really liked it. She, <laughs> I feel like she's a very controversial author. I don't know, I feel like rightfully so, but also I really love her writing style and some people just don't. I feel like it's almost gonna be kind of a dark, sort oh, romantic thriller. Okay, interesting. Me like not even knowing what these books are about. Oh, it says creepy. Okay, I didn't know that. Anyways, excited to read this one too. I feel like I'll read it very fast. Okay, the rest of the books are from all from the same author. This is my new favorite author, Alice Oseman. Love her. Uh, if you haven't watched Heartstopper on Netflix, I have to plug it. You need to go watch it, especially during Pride Month. Like, just go watch it. Um, so good. It's based off of graphic novels, which I will get into as well. Yeah, so basically I watched the Heartstopper on Netflix and it just like snowballed from there. Then I read the graphic novels. Then I was like getting into all of her other books and stuff. Um, so I picked this one up at Barnes and Noble. This is one of the only one of her books that wasn't Heartstopper that they had. Um, it's called Radio Silence, but it's like about a character from Heartstopper, the graphic novels. So I was very intrigued <laughs> and I wasn't planning on buying this, but I was like, yeah, I might as well because it's like a whole cinematic universe and I just need to read all the books. So I picked this up, um, very excited to read it. It sounds really interesting. Yeah, I don't even know how to explain this, but yeah, basically she's a UK author as well. So it's kind of hard to get her books in the US I've noticed if you don't wanna pay like a lot of money. Like my Barnes and Noble barely had like I said, this one and that was it, <laughs> um, which obviously because she's so popular right now. Um, but also I feel like in general, it's like hard to get her books here, which is why <laughs> I ordered the rest of, or not the rest of her books, but some of her other books from a bookstore in the UK. <laughs> and they just got here yesterday and I literally already read this one. Um, so I ordered the first volume of Heartstopper, the graphic novel. Um, and it's the Netflix like 
cover, which I don't usually like the like, you know, Netflix slash movie covers, but I just love the show so much. I was like, I, I need this, like I need this. And also it comes with like scripts from the show, which are very interesting to me. And I'm just obsessed with everything about the show. <laughs> so definitely needed these and I'm very excited to like read through them. You can actually read them for free online if you just like look it up, but I, so I read it for free online, but I just really wanted the physical like versions of them. And the other three volumes that are out are coming in the mail today. So just imagine that I have like all of them with me. So very excited to reread those as I'm rewatching the show for the 12th time. That's not even an exaggeration. It's literally my 12th time rewatching it. Um, but then these are some of Alice Oseman's other books. And these two are actually Heartstopper novellas. So they're like 100 pages each. This one's like 150. This one's called This Winter and it takes place during volume four of the graphic novels. And it literally just takes place on Christmas day. It just is like a, kind of like a mini story. I feel like, like building off of the com what they show in the comic. Cause also there's like some comic pages in here as well. So very, I don't know. I'm just like obsessed with this. This is like the equivalent of me reading all the Diary of a Wimpy Kid books in like fifth and sixth, uh, like third and fourth grade, also fifth and sixth. Then this one is what I'm most excited about. I wanted to read it last night too, but I was like, I need to save it and not just like devour all of these in one day. Um, Nick and Charlie, another mini Heartstopper novella thing. Um, Nick and Charlie are the two main characters. I think this takes place after all of these ones. This is Alice Osman's first book actually. It's called Solitaire and it's from the point of view of Charlie's older sister. This is like what started the whole Heartstopper universe, I believe. Yeah, because this is her first book. So again, very, I'm gonna read this right after I finish Beach Read and this book. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm so excited to read this because it's like, I'm um, very excited to read that one. This whole video is me like showing you books and saying, I'm excited to read this one. But you know, maybe if you needed some like summer reading suggestions or a new series to get into, just, you know, suggestions. Um, yeah, those are all the books I've got. Like I said, I still have three more coming in the mail today, but um, it's okay. And I'll probably be going to back to Barnes and Noble at some point over the summer once I finish all these. <laughs> so yeah, I love books. I love reading. I'm not the fastest reader. So these will probably honestly last me most of the summer, but we'll see. Yeah, and I can definitely do book reviews. I'm not the best at book reviews, but I can try my best if you are interested and want a video on that. That is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, like I said, I feel like I didn't say much about each book, but like I said, I haven't read most of them. So I'm just very excited to read them. And let me know if you guys have read any of these and if you liked it or didn't, like either way. Um, let me know if you've seen Heartstopper because I would love to talk about that with someone as well. <laughs> but yeah, so I'll see you guys next week for another video. Bye.